Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos important and interesting in your studies, and also don't forget to subscribe. By moment distribution method, determine the moments at B, C, and D. EI is 40,000 kilonewton meters square. So this problem was already solved, presented in three moment equations, as well as in slope deflection equations. In three moment equations, we also draw the shear moment diagrams. This time, we'll just uh, confirm the moments at B, C, and D, as well as at E, perhaps, by the moment distribution method. So take note that there are support movements and therefore side sway moments aside from the fixed moments due to the loads are incorporated in the calculations for fixed moments. And the formula for fixed moments due to side sway is negative 6EI delta over L square, where delta is positive if the rotation of the cord is clockwise. Remember the sign convention for slope deflection equation. So let's have the strip. This is 25 dx, the force, let's call that x, and that's 25 dx. For the second part, if we call this x, then w as to x equals 48 as to 6, so 48 over 6 is 8, therefore the height of the strip is 8x, therefore the differential force is 8x dx. And for the third loading, if we call x from the right, then 10 over 3 is 10 thirds, so therefore the height of the strip is w minus 20 as to x equals 10 as to 3. So 10 thirds x plus 20. So the force is 10 thirds x plus 20 dx. So fixed moment AB is equal to negative integral from 0 to 4 of 25 dx times quantity 2 plus x, that's the i. B is 4 minus x quantity square over L square. Remember. P, A, B square over L square, and it's negative at the left. Then due to side sway moment, this delta is treated positive because the core joining A, B is rotating uh, clockwise, so it is treated 0 0.02 meter. So minus 6 EI, 6 times 40,000 times 0 0.02 over L square, which is 6 square. So fixed moment AB is equal to negative 177.778 kilonewton meter. While fixed moment BA, we just make it positive, then interchange the squared factor 2 plus x squared this time, 4 minus x, then this value remains the same, negative 6 times 40,000.02 over, over 6 squared. So the fixed end moment BA is equal to negative 66.667 kilonewton meter. The next fixed end moment BC, imagine the core joining B and C. So it is, C is higher, so the rotation is counterclockwise. So delta is treated negative, negative 8 mm or negative 0.008. So due to the load, fixed moment is negative integral of 8x dx from 0 to 6. A is 1 plus x, B is 6 minus x, so 6 minus x squared over 7 squared. Then minus 6 times 40,000 times negative 0 0.008 over 7 squared, where negative 0 0.008 is 8mm because the core joining B to C is rotating counterclockwise and clockwise is positive in slope deflection equation. That's the sign convention for slope deflection equation, but actually for the universal sign convention, counterclockwise is positive. So therefore, the value is negative 20.767 kilonewton meter square, while fixed end moment CB is, make it this positive, 1 plus x squared this time, 6 minus x over 7 squared, and the second term remains the same. So 
So, minus 6 times 40,000 times negative 0 0.008 over 7 square. So, fixed end moment CB is equal to 143.804 kilonewton meter. Fixed end moment CD, so the cord rotates clockwise again. The difference is 13 mm. So, 0 0.013 meter is treated positive. Then, fixed end moments is due to this 50 kilonewton load only. So, it is equal to negative 50 times 3 times 5 square over 8 square. Then, minus 640,000 times 0 0.013 over 8 square. So, that is equal to negative 107.344. And fixed end moment DC, you just verify it. Uh, they get positive 53 square 5 over 8 square, then the same. And it is equal to negative 13.594 kilonewton meter. And finally, fixed end moment DE, the rotation of the cord is again counterclockwise. The difference is 10 mm or 0 0.01 meters of so 0 0.01 meter in the side sway moment is neg is negative. So integral from 0 to 3, negative integral from 0 to 3 of quantity 10x over 3 plus 20 dx times 3 minus x times quantity x plus 2 square over 5 square. So a is 3 minus x, b is x plus 2. So quantity square over 5 square, then side sway moment minus 6 EI 40,000 times negative 0 0.01 over 5 square. So that is equal to 54.18 kilonewton meter. Then fix in moment ED, you just make this positive 3 minus x square, x plus 2, then the same. Verify that it is equal to. 118.68 kilonewton meter. So let's now tabulate. And E is imagined as the last support, and we have to apply 30 kilonewton downward. And the moment is is clockwise, which is negative 30 times 2 negative 60 for moment EF. So the stiffness, relative stiffness of member AB, because the far end is pin, zero moment, it is modified 3 fourths times 1 over 6. 3 fourths of 1 over 6 is 1 over 8. This is not modified. This is an interior span, so it is just 1 over 7. This is not modified also, interior span. This is 1 over 8. And this is to be modified because we imagine that the last support is a roller support and we just apply 30 kN downward and a clockwise couple of 30 times 2, so 60 kN meter. So 3 fourths of 1 over 5 is 3 over 20. Therefore, the distribution factor for A is negative 1. It is the last support. That's my technique. I make it negative so that you don't worry about any more changing the sign after distributing the unbalanced moments. Then for VA, it is negative 1 over 8 over 1 over 8 plus 1 over 7, negative 7 over 15. So for BC, negative 8 over 15. For CB, one, negative 1 over 7 over 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8, so that's negative 8 over 15. So this should be CD, negative 7 over 15. For DC, negative 1 over 8 over 1 over 8 plus 3 over 20, that's negative 5 over 11. For DE, negative 6 over 11. And E, because this is the last support ruler, so it is negative 1. Then for the fixed moments, we have uh, negative 177.778, negative 66.667, negative 20.767, 143.804, negative 107.344, negative 13.594, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18, 54.18
one eight then because this is negative sixty so this is hundred eighteen point sixty eight then negative sixty moment EF then we have to distribute so unbalanced moment times distribution factor 177.778 quantity negative 66.67 minus 20.767 times negative 7 over 15 40.803 replace negative 7 by negative 8 put the value here 46.631 Quantity 140.804 minus 107.344 times negative 8 over 15. Put the value here, negative 19.445. Replace negative 8 by negative 7. Put the value here, negative 17.015. Then here, then distribute here. I don't need to mention it with uh, so many examples. by now you should be able to know how to distribute unbalanced moments so this is 118.68 minus 60 times negative 1 so negative 58.68 then carry over so this is already balanced the final moments at a is zero so let's lock it finally then also we have to distribute or carry over 177.778 here no more here because this is zero final moments so half of 177.778 that's the value half of negative 19.445 half of 46.631 half of negative 18.448 half of negative 17.015 half of so we have to lock first and this is 60, negative 60, half of negative 58.68 carry carried over here. But we don't know, we don't carry over half of negative 22.138 anymore because this is finalized. Next, distribute. So no more here. So quantity 88.889 minus 9.7. 2, 2 times negative 7 over 15, negative 36.945. Replace negative 7 by negative 8, put the value here, negative 42.222. So quantity 23.316 minus 9.224 times negative 8 over 15, that's the value. Replace negative 8 by negative 7, put the value here, negative 6.576. Then Distribute, distribute, and carry over. So none here because this is already balanced and there is no moment here. So half of negative 7.516, half of negative 42.222, half of 17.204, half of negative 6.576, and none. Distribute. So negative 3.758 times negative 7 over 15. Replace negative 7 by negative 8. Put the value here. Quantity negative 21.111 plus 8.602 times negative 8 over 15. Put the value here. Replace negative 8 by negative 7. Put the value here. Then distribute negative 3.288. Put the values here. Then carry over. So none, half of 6.671, half of 2.004, half of 1.495, half of 5.838. Then distribute. So 3.336 times negative 7 over 15. Replace negative 7 by negative 8, put the value here. Quantity 1.002 plus 0.7475 times negative 8 over 15. Put the value here. Replace negative 8 by negative 7. Put the value here. 2.919 times negative 5 over 11. 2.919 times negative 6 over 11. Carry over. So none. 
half of negative 0.9331, half of negative 1.779, half of negative 1.327, half of negative 0.8164. Then distribute. So, negative 0.4666 times negative 7 or 15, that's the value. Replace negative 7 by negative 8, that's the value. And distribute these unbalanced moments. These are the values. Distribute this negative 0.4082. These are the values. And carry over. So then here half of 0 0.8283, half of 0 0.2489, half of 0 0.1855, half of 0 0.7247. Then distribute, distribute 0 0.4142 to these distribution factors. Distribute this unbalanced moment to these distribution factors. Distribute 0.3624 to these distribution factors. Then carry over. So half of negative 0.1158, half of negative 0.2209, half of negative 1.1647, half of negative 0.1014. Then lastly, distribute. So distribute negative 0 0.0579 to these distribution factors. Put the values here. Distribute these unbalanced moments to these distribution factors. Put the values here. Then negative 0 0.0507 distribute. Put the values here. Then we lock finally. Then add the values in this column. So in this column, it is 0. This, that's the final moment at A, 0. This is moment B, A, 26.328. So moment B, C, which is moment at B, should be negative of 26.328. So add the values in this column. So that's moment C, B, positive 125.728. So the moment at C is in this column here. We add negative 125.729. Add these values. That's moment DC. Negative 23.600. Add these values. This is the moment at D. 23.6. So finally, moment ED, positive 60. Moment EF, negative 60. So those are the moments and because this is moment distribution method, they are close to the answers to three moment equations, very close, and slope deflection equations. So that's it for this problem.